Good morning. Welcome to a wet and dark uh, construction day here at Casa Texpina. Today is build day number 259. Uh, we have a scheduled power outage all day. Started at 7, will not be completed until almost 6 p.m. According to the local power utility company, uh, replacing main feeders, this, that, and the other. Um, so <clears throat> our guys today, Sands Power, are build, busy over by the uh, bunkhouse uh, with a nice tarp over their head, um, doing lots of sanding and macias on the drawers. Uh, so that's getting started. One good thing is we're getting a very light rain. You probably can't see it on the video, but it's very light rain, um, <clears throat> which is awesome for the grass that they just planted yesterday. That means <laughs> awesome for me too, because I don't have to go water the yard. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's all getting watered. Uh, nice slow rain, so it's able to soak into the soil. Uh, really helps out the, uh, the grass and it's not a big deluge, so we don't worry about washing away uh, some of the materials. Um, yeah, been a, so we're going to, uh, we're, we are still expecting the landscapers to show today as well. Um, most of their work uh, doesn't require any electrical. So <clears throat> um, we'll see how that goes and uh, let's walk around and see where the other guys are at and let's get started. We're gonna start this morning with the only person inside the house and that's Mr. Allen here. He's uh, marking out where our cabinet doorknobs are going to go. Notice since these have a flat screw head on the end uh, he will not be able to do those by hand, so we've got to wait until power comes back on, <clears throat> which will probably be tomorrow, and uh, then we can get started on placing doorknobs. Um, so, in the interim, we'll just go around and make sure we uh, pre-mark where everything is going to go. Take a good look at it, make sure it's the right spot, <clears throat> get the boss's approval, and... Uh, Get ready to press on. All right, let's go ahead and head back out. All the rest of our folks are over here across the street. They set up the uh, the big tarps because they thought they were going to have a lot of sun today, and they didn't want to be working on uh, sanding out in the sun all day. <laughs> As nature would have it, they uh, prepared nicely for. The rain so everybody out here is uh doing sanding and sealing and macias and so what we got over here on this side mr alex and mr henry are uh, putting tape on the um, sliders so that we don't get paint and macias on the uh, sliding rails and then they're handed over to mr uh, jr on this side and he starts doing sanding and macias so you can see he's putting macias in there getting it all smoothed out smoothing out the, uh, the the wood grain give it a good finish and then after that it'll come back over here mr mr wilson's doing the same thing and it'll come back over to these guys and then they'll sand it down they give it a nice uh they'll smooth it out again and get it prepped for uh first coat of prime paint prime coat paint primer which uh, usually they've been putting on with a um, air compressor but I don't think they're going to be using that today our air compressor is um, electrical not uh, generator based so today is going to be lots of catch-up with all of the drawers because we still have lots of these around the house that have not seen uh, have not seen <laughs> a piece of sandpaper or macias yet so we'll get there today okay so we do have one other person inside the household this morning and that is our uh, foreman mr marlin what he's going to do today all the tile that he put backsplash he put in over the last two days today he's going through and he's going to be putting in grout so we're going to fill all the little gaps 
Um, see if you can see it from here. See the little gaps here in the <coughs> in the tile. The uh, adhesive did push through, but you still have to fill some of the gaps. It's not quite filled up yet. Uh, so that's what Mr. Marlin's working on now. A little bit at a time. Up, down, left, right, diagonals, anything to get it into the cracks. And then we'll come back with a clean sponge after that and wipe it down. All right, our landscaper's back this morning as well. And we are putting in lots and lots of grass. So the rain has let up for a while. So we're, the, good morning. So the soil is ready for lots of um, sod. So they're putting it down in little pieces, wet it down some more. And then the gentleman comes behind and starts tamping it into place. All right, let's go look over here and on the other side of where they're working. Coming back into the front, they uh, added some more features, little rocks and stuff to our rose bed here in the front. No, they do not use landscaping fabric here, so initially that just means a lot of weeding. Um, we can add that at a later point. Uh, we'll, we may do that as a DIY. Miss Emmy's already mentioned she in, intends to do it as a DIY project after the fact. Uh, pull the uh, pull all the rocks out, put them up here on the uh, on the sidewalk, put a little landscaping fabric underneath it, try to cut down on the weeds coming through, and then put the rocks back in place. Should work out nicely. So, picking up all the, the debris, and it's a good thing we're getting our debris picked up. Our uh, HOA is very particular about uh, trash piles and the uh, cleanliness appearance of the uh, subdivision so uh, after a couple of uh, notices and conversations we uh, have finally gotten these picked up uh, thing is that most of it's out of our control so we asked the engineer to pick up the trash the uh, either him or the brother-in-law al <coughs> uh, schedules that to get picked up so they come and pick it up, haul it off off site, and it's gone, gotten rid of. So this is their uh, second pickup today. So they still got a little bit of a trash pile. They'll probably make one more pickup after that. Let's check on our uh, guys here underneath the tarp. Their sunshade is starting to turn into a sunshade. It's no longer a drip pan. <clears throat> so we're sanding down. They've already done the Macias. Now they're sanding the Macias. Still taping up some of the new ones so they don't get anything inside the, uh, the roller tracks. <clears throat> so we're calling this Macias in English. Here's what it is they're using. Automotive lacquer glazing putty. So it helps fill in all the cracks, all the, uh, the wood grain, get a good smooth finish uh, once it's all sanded down. And Mr. JR doing the same thing back here. More Macias. guys up here on the front are still putting in uh, sod working their way down working their way down to the corner and starting to turn let's take a look at the other side of the house hey look we're starting to get our <coughs> pebbles they call them pebbles in between the uh, stepping stones we got a very nicely formed walkway actual stepping stones and then places where you're not supposed to step but it still keeps the uh, grass from growing there and we should be able to keep it weeded mm -hmm. nice. very nicely yeah. 
and a little bit of drain where everything will allow the water to go into the uh, catch basin. Nice job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so while we were away for lunch, we got a new walkway put in. Our, uh, we got a walkway out to our little stepping stones out to the Kubo. And it's also getting a fresh coat of varnish, which does two things. It protects the bamboo, but also kills any of the... Um, here they call it book book, but it's uh, boring weevils. So they got these little these little bugs that bore into the wood they, they it kind of i've seen them go in it's kind of like a little fly a little bitty skinny fly and it has a tiny little holes that they like to go in but the uh varnish helps soak through the holes like see these little holes right here these three that's where some of those book book have gone in before and mr joel the uh <coughs> one of the the main guys for actually it's joel's garden so one of the proprietors of the business for our landscaping is uh also repainting or revarnishing the uh the kubo for us we bought the materials and he says well since i'm just standing around that's what he's uh taking on as a personal project we appreciate it very much Okay, other good thing that's uh, coming out while we were out on uh, lunch, we've now got a little splash stone, splash stones for our uh, faucet areas. So we've got an area here that this isn't going to get all uh, muddy and everything covered with mud right underneath, immediately underneath the faucet. Um, it's got a little nice splash block there. In the States we call these splash blocks, but they're usually underneath the gutters so here we're using it uh, right next to the uh, faucets so they're putting one in each of the four locations for our faucets <clears throat> and still have more uh, sod that they're getting ready to put out <clears throat> looks good. good thank you <laughs> getting there getting there all right same thing over here, so we're still working on putting out the sod. Let's go see what's going around the side. As you can see, no lights, still no power. So, in the distance, I can hear one of our neighbors has their uh, generator running. When we get ours hooked up, uh, possibly as early as next week. then uh, this will be connected. Currently right now it's not connected to anything. And if we happen to do a temporary connection uh, to be able to utilize the, where it's down here at the bottom where it says AC 220 volt, uh, to be able to connect it to the house, voids the warranty. So don't want that. Um, the, uh, the proprietor or the, the pr uh, vendor that we bought it from is back in town from Baguio. Uh, so he's already uh, set up a date. Uh, it is looking like Tuesday next week that we should be able to have this uh, connected to the auto transfer switch and get it uh, <clears throat> get it hooked up to the main house and we can test it out and everything. Because even though if we could have it co uh, connected today, <clears throat> there's no way to test it because we don't have the commercial power to test the auto transfer switch. We do have a manual transfer switch right here, right now. Um, but <clears throat> again, still not connected to the generator. So we're not using that route. Lots of water, lots of uh, grass. All right. Nah? Yeah, good job. <laughs> They said all this grass, these little plugs like this, this whole thing will look like a uh, brand new sod, a brand new gr grass yard within a month. They said in 30 days, this is all gonna be thick grass like this all the way across. So we're gonna need a weed eater immediately. Mm. Looks like Miss Emmy's doing her uh, inspection duties. 
So we've got our uh, general labor crew over here and we're all working on sanding and Macias still working on these uh, drawers. Like I warned y'all earlier on in the videos, we have a ton of uh, drawers to get done. So they were, this is really helping out the, uh, the painters quite a bit, uh, allowing them to do ketchup because uh, we've also got all of these in here that are ready for the next step. Um, these, I believe, got the uh, primer and the base coat um, of paint, but not the final yet. So we're continuing to look at that and work on it. That'll be uh, tomorrow. Yes, we have two uh, air compressors. Both are electric run, which means they're a little bit quieter. But the downside is when you have no power, you have no work. So we'll uh, catch up with that when we get power back, either late this evening or they'll do just start on it tomorrow. Uh, be a good thing to do on Friday. was a little shorter than expected and that's nice because now mr allen can get started on uh, putting in our uh, shelving units the shelves that are going inside of the upper cabinets as well as he's already drilled all the holes for the um, knobs so the all the handles for our uh, cabinet drawers no doors yes cabinet doors so that's been worked on so it at least got started and then he'll, he'll, he'll continue with that tomorrow as well um let's take a look out back our uh, landscapers have been busy today with lots and lots of uh sod so getting it all wet down and tamped down so 
that's coming along very nicely. Let's go ahead and take a look across the street. See what our guys have been working on as far as the uh, the sanding and Macias on our drawers. See how far along they got. Oh, look at that, Miss Emmy's working. Um, I caught her working. Uh huh. That's gonna be our new job in the mornings and afternoons. Water those, water those that grass and plants. So, doing, uh, still working on Macias. working on the Macias underneath the uh-huh <laughs> put a little bit on thin it out really nice take a little bit off Again, we're trying to fill in all the wood grain so it has a smooth finish on top. Okay, so that's what it, these guys have been working on. And we did have a bunch that were already completed. That was from yesterday. And then back across the street, we had the ones that they had been working on all day today. <clears throat> and that's up here inside of the garage. So these have been, these are what were completed today with the uh, sanding and Macias. And we'll get started with some more tomorrow. Back to painting as well. Well, we got a lot of grass put in place this afternoon, so much so that they actually ran out of sod and stones so you notice how some of these don't have the stones in between the, the steps here um, so we still have those to do the guys from the landscape crew got to go pick up uh, some more parts one of our neighbors so yeah the stones should look like this grass should look like that and this is where they ran out now we get ready to head back over this way one thing was kind enough of the uh, um, the landscaper to re-varnish our Baha'i Kubo. Um, <laughs> honestly, this is the third time within a year that this uh, Kubo has been uh, re-varnished. So we got it originally, and then about three months later, we had to varnish it because we had a lot of uh, the book book. So we varnished it and that got rid of them for a while. And then as it just sat during, uh, at, sat out in the weather, um, it started fading. So we had it varnished one more time. And then just today, uh, it had varnished quite, oh, it had, it had um, dulled or uh, weathered pretty badly. So again, we had them re-varnish it. Um, so that was a, an added bonus from the, uh, from the landscape crew. We bought the materials and, um, that they utilized and then just, add, and they went ahead and brushed it all by, all by brush. So, all right. Um, it's just about yabba dabba do time. So lots of stuff going on today, even with the, um, power outage so the power did come on back on about three o'clock um, we also found out today that our um, today is our last day for our foreman uh, he is being transferred to another project uh, so we'll be moving along uh, moving forward sans foreman so no foreman uh, the rest of the way out so it'll be uh, just painters and carpenters uh, from here forward uh, the occasional electrician as we have electrical work to be done uh, but everybody else is uh, on their own. So we'll see how this goes. We should be they're, they're, they're telling us we should be done by the end of uh, by the end of the month. But that's about 10 or 11 days away. And our landscapers have told the uh, our general crew, our engineers crew, they can't get back on the grass for uh, two weeks uh, to allow it time to uh, set in. 
uh, before they start redoing the second coat of paint on the exterior of the building and the exterior of the fence because that needs to be redone uh, all the way around. So we'll uh, see how that progresses over the next uh, several weeks. So if y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless.